Well, here we are. Yeah, okay, it's alligators happening. have uh, been getting a bad rap uh, lately in the news from, of course, um, stealing gator wrangler poles <laughs> to uh, uh, attacking people and stuff like that, right? Well, Michael is here to shine a light on the crocodilian community. They've been misunderstood. Thank you for joining us from the Phoenix Herpetological. Thank you guys for having me out. Yeah, yeah no, it's so nice to be back again. I know, uh, Brad, you were saying you really wanted to meet a baby gator. Yes. So. It's, your, so. it's your moment. Yeah, it's your lucky yeah. day. This is Gord. He is in a, uh, he's a baby American alligator who actually was surrendered to our facility. <gasps> Wow. So uh, this was once an illegal pet. Uh, all crocodilians are legal to own as pets in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And for good reason, they don't make very good pets. Even the smaller ones can get up to five to six feet long. So they really aren't manageable animals. They really are kind of a zoo animal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, alligators and crocodiles, really one of the big reasons our facility is around is to educate people about these reptiles and why they're so important to our natural heritage and why they're also just such awesome animals as you can see. Gord is a really, really cute little alligator right here. Did you want to hold him, Brad? So I don't want to hold him. Okay, I, I, I know better. Him. I know better. I you will, I will pet him? In, yes, in just a moment. Oh, yeah, please. I, 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 we'll and do don't right tell now. him that you have there the boots go. made out of his cousin. No. Oh, yeah, no. Let's, <laughs> no, that's uh, illegal. Yeah. That's illegal. <laughs> that's illegal. Uh, but let's talk, Mike, about, of course, uh, we see the alligators in the news um, because it's kind of like almost where people are taking over their areas, but also they're being pushed out of their own home by anacondas and pythons that people have lit loose down in Florida. So that's why they're kind of like moving into those areas, am I right? So uh, yes, uh, you've definitely touched on a couple important facts uh, within this animal's habitat. Florida is definitely riddled with invasive species of reptiles. They have Burmese pythons. I've even been talking to some colleagues recently who said they've been seeing uh, wild Nile crocodiles and saltwater crocodiles, which uh, definitely can become competition for these animals. And of course, you know, uh, we always have to be mindful about development because these animals, you know, they belong there in these natural ecosystems. The American alligator was once uh, very much imperiled, you know, during the mid 20th century. There was less than, I believe, 40 to 50,000 alligators, but now there's maybe a million. So, wow. you know, it's really important that we stay mindful about the conservation of these animals in the yeah. future. Now, my understanding, you guys are trying to get a certain uh, crocodile uh, for your uh, sanctuary to educate people, but also for you guys to help the species along. Absolutely, that's right. So for the last seven years, we have been working intensively on uh, receiving six Indian gharial and six Indian muggers crocs from a facility in India. This would make us the second facility in the United States to have every species of crocodilian on Earth in our collection. So it's really big for us, definitely a point of pride for everyone here in Phoenix as well. We have the largest collection of reptiles in the country, over uh, 1,500. So, you know, it's just another feather in our cap. And of course, with the success that we've been having with our crocodilian breeding programs, uh, we really would hope the same thing for these animals and that we could produce them here in captivity. Does, does this guy like to be pet? Like, would he enjoy a pet or is that going to oh, annoy yeah. so him? Oh, yeah, these are, uh, we definitely have discretion as far as choosing, you can know, you seasoned. A pet? Yeah, absolutely. Right are here, you sure you can go he's going to like it? Well, you know, <laughs> these are seasoned educational animals. They do this all the time kids' birthday parties, okay. events at our facility. And that's another thing you can do actually to support us is come out to our facility. We have summer camps, we have uh, private tours and uh, public tours of our facility. We have a capybara experience. There's a bunch of fun things to do yeah. at the uh, herpetological sanctuary. That's Additionally, good. this upcoming, uh, in about a week or so, we're gonna have two of our croc walk events, which are gonna be live crocodilian feeding. Yeah. So, really and, cool. And let's remind people, the reason why you have the, the tape on there is because this is a young croc, so we kind of like, almost like we talk about with snakes and scorpions, when they're young, they don't know their ability, they don't know their training, how it works and stuff. So that's why you guys are kind of like working with him so he knows when to have his mouth open, when to be smart, not to bite at things and stuff like that. Well, I wouldn't want to be on the mouth end of any crocodilian, <laughs> you know, and we certainly wouldn't want to, uh, you know, jeopardize anyone's fingers here. Thank this you, is a, He's very chill, Oh, Gord. super oh, yeah, chill. They yeah, are. Super duper chill. We had a fun ride here. Yeah. So. Yeah, I heard you were in traffic. Yes. Yeah, yeah traffic was crazy. But uh, we made it here nonetheless, yeah. But uh, yeah, you know, this is a precaution we use for any event where we bring a, an alligator or any crocodilian. You know, just at the end of the day, it avoids anything unnecessary it, happening. Exactly, yeah. and that's very important. And, and again, too, it's very amazing is that, um, and like I said, I love crocodiles and alligators. And one thing is, they don't go looking to attack people. That's yeah. one people have to understand. Like when they sit with their mouth open, they're actually cooling themselves 
a little bit, and then that's when someone's like, oh, let me go mess with him, and yes. that's not the best Does thing. Does that work? Because I've been pretty hot lately, too. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> well, luckily, cool we now? have sweat glands, Teresa. Thank you. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Good um, point. But Rub that in. <laughs> for sure. Uh, definitely, the. I mean, I would say between crocodiles and alligators, for the most part, alligators are very placid in comparison to crocodiles. Uh, crocodiles in the wild, you definitely don't want to get into a lake where there's going to be a saltwater crocodile or not a crocodile. Oh, yeah. Very aggressive animals, for sure. I like it. Mike, this is awesome. Um, school is back in session, but what a great way to take a field trip out to, of course, the sanctuary. How do people do that? So I would recommend going to our website. We have public tours, private tours all the time, and we also invite um, schools out for field trips. We do that. We can service that, all of those needs for sure. Yeah. I like it. All right, one more pet for me. Absolutely. There we go. Thank this you so much. Yeah. So look at that. He's really He's, a beautiful baby. Yes. Oh, yes, and he'll be a beautiful adult one day, too. How big? Uh, these guys, adults Boy. can get over 10 feet long. Wow, that's yeah, small. Yeah. That's nothing. I've, I've ridden sharks. Yeah. <laughs>